sketch, you tell them. people and i've missed y'all i really really have but i'm back and i hope you guys are all doing good i hope you guys are safe hope you guys are healthy and we back we back playing the game that that made it all happen for me man made it all happen for me we back playing some ufc 5 so let me go ahead pop it on the chat real quick one second the game that, that made Yo, what's good, IR? How you doing, my guy? Welcome to the stream. Give me one second. I'm going to post up that we're live real quick. And then we'll, we'll get it in. Mm. My guy. Welcome to the stream. Give me one second. I'm going to post up that we're live real quick. And then we'll... So you're going to hear my voice twice for a we'll second. get it in. Go. Just going to pull up Discord real quick. So as you guys can see, I really haven't been playing UFC like that. I'm on a four title fight streak right now, but I've literally just taken, I think, like the last week or so off. Um... I kind of lost. I kind of been dealing with a with a couple of things mentally, man. It's it's really been crazy. I needed to step away from it. I needed to get away for a little bit from doing a uh, UFC content because uh, all the negativity just started affecting me really, really in, in a in a in a different way than I've ever felt. So I had to get away. I had to deal with some personal demons that I was that was was going on in my head. And now I feel comfortable to be able to come back. So we back out here. Yo, what's good, Charles? Give me one second. Um. Post up that way live real quick. Sorry, even with me being on my PC, it still takes me a cool minute to post every post up in all the discords. But we good. 
We good, we good. Let's go. Let's get into it. <clears throat> Yo, what's good, butter? What's good, butter? Okay, you guys can still hear it. All right, in order for me to be able to listen to my music, I gotta mute the desktop audio. Let's get into it. Hey, babies, come here. How you feeling, mama? You doing good? Give me kisses. I love you. <laughs> Did you get your food? Okay, good. I'm glad you ate. Uh, after daddy's done streaming, we'll get you in the back, okay? You haven't ate yet? Oh, yeah, she's cooking the pizza. Okay. Okay. All right, babies. I love you. Sounds like the thing to do. Got to re-energize sometimes. Yeah, bro. I had to. Everything looking and sounding clean. Hey, I appreciate it, butter. Just get up out of there. What's good, Albie? What's Gucci? What's Gucci? All right, here we go. Oh. Jeez. It's crazy. Yo, what's good, Josh? What happened with Dark? Um, Dark is officially not a camp. Um, We transitioned over to Phoenix. I think that's what the name of it is now. So we're still around. We just... There's not a lot of, uh, it's not as big as it used to be. So I think right now it's just me, Doc, uh, me, Doc, Romero, and Swiss. Look at these connections. I think this is the same dude. I didn't miss this. <laughs> I didn't miss the connections and stuff when I'm gone, though. Yo, what's good, Slate? What it do? What it do? Mm. All right, Poirier. All right. This is literally... I've had no warm-up fights, ladies and gentlemen. So this is literally my warm-up fights... So we're going to get into it, though. Hmm. No. Leaned into that kick a little bit. Now let's pace it out. Nice slip hook. Nope. Nope. We're not leaning. Right there. He's throwing that lead hook straight a lot. Oh, nice. Nope. Hmm. Nice. 
Right, let's throw some faint out at him. Hmm. It's the same combo every time. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm. Nice. No game audio? Hold on, give me one second. Give me one second, guys. I'll fix it. go all right give me one second guys hold on Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you guys hear it now? All right, so it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round, DC. The highlight. Yo, Sleep, I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it. What's good, Elite? Because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot, and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. You better get his elbow down. Or his opponent's going to continue to take advantage Ready. of that weakness. All right, round two. Okay, let's get into it. All right, next round oh, is now okay. underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them should really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Slip. Hmm. Connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get Ooh. into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, that'll do it. All right, we'll take it. It's a little bit loud. All right, hold on. Let me turn it down. Let me turn it down. Let me turn it down a little bit. All right, there we go. Mello, do you want to get in some games, brother, or no? Yeah, this game better not have froze, man. Take how long. VR is so much fun. It's a pain in the rear to set up. The I believe it. I believe it. I can't really do VR, bro. You, you always see me get scared. That stuff was scary. Especially scary games in VR. Like, if we were playing Outlast in VR... Oh, bro, I, I wouldn't be able to do it. It scares the hell out of me just, uh, I do, I do but I need a minute. All right, I got you. I mean, what's going on, UFC? Something needs to settle a bit. Ooh, brother got the Hershey squirts. Brother got the Hershey squirts. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. But uh, we're going to go ahead and exit out of that real quick. Come right back in. Yo, what's good, Joff? Do any of us have Outlast? Me and Melo are playing uh, Outlast EA Trials. Sports. It's in the game. We were, we've, we've done two streams with that. Outlast Trials. Do you have that? I definitely did not jump out of this. Out of skin the covers. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I can't do that. I cannot do it, dude. Tell you what. All right, we still on our we still on our title streak. Feel like I need a couple fights to get me 
get me ready to go though. I'm gonna lie to you. I put my keys down. Oh, my headphones are right here. I thought I was gonna be able to listen to music by muting the desktop audio, but um, yeah, I definitely couldn't do that. Could it'll mute the video? It'll mute the uh, audio for you guys. I can't can't have that. You're gonna make me do it? No, I don't know about that. Look at these connections, though, bro. They're a little shifty now. No dang if you guys want to play over. Hey, Joff, we do, bro. The more the be the more the merrier, bro. Let me tell you, me and Melo spent, I believe, an hour just completing the first trial. It's crazy. I played Res VR. It didn't scare me to be honest, but it go Yeah. I'm good, bro. I don't I can't play games like that. <laughs> you show me after? Okay. There we go. Yo, what's good, Thunder Buddies? She's Robbie. You might get Charles too. You should sleep. Hop on and play with me and Mello. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's get into it. All right, so here's the perennial welterweight contender, Leon Rocky Edwards. Nice to see him finally realize a championship opportunity there in Salt Lake City. This is a 5 tool player, though. A lot of people fancy him just a striker. Haven't watched all the film. Of that, I can assure you, he can wrestle, he can grapple, can even choke you out if need be. Going to be very interesting to see stylistically how he chooses to approach this matchup tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna need to touch Robbie this guy's Lawler block right a little bit. Do not want to get hit with too many of those. Nah, man, this is a dog. Robbie Lawler is a flat-out dog. Oh, oh, this is the biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive up the leg. Hmm. Looking to land the leg kick now. All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already. DC, got to think he goes back to it. I am almost certain. He's gonna go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really sit down and try to make one to really count hmm. to try to end this fight. Hmm. Great block there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Okay. Push kick there to the body. You better get that elbow down right there and keep blasting those body kicks right to your ribs. Nice jab by Lawler. Nice. Just over two minutes now to go. Ooh, I slipped off to the other side, though. Kick to the body by Edwards. Just nope. misses with the left hook. Okay. Right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso mm. and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. That was a tremendous high kick. Total strikes have now landed for Robbie Lawler. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Hmm. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, beautiful strike in there by Leon Edwards. He has really become a well-rounded welterweight. You saw in the Gunnar Nelson fight how good his wrestling defense was. Leon Edwards is a real problem, DC. All right. 
The damage is adding up. Ten seconds to go in the round. Okay. All right, cool. Yo, what's good, 3-4? What up, what up, what up? VR search and destroy Call of Duty would be fire. <laughs> the look out the window got me real good. <laughs> this is a nice slow-paced fight. This guy's trying to fight me off at range. That's why you guys don't see me just trying to walk him down. Because we are landing quite a bit. We saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters yeah, certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, a nice straight there by Edwards. Right there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. To chase down that Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> oh, big look. That'll sting. Oh, huge left. Oh, that's a good lead left. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. So we call on the fight stats here. These numbers are unofficial, but 52 total strikes unofficially have landed for ruthless Robbie Lowe. Pull the body a little bit. With just a 36% accuracy there against Leon Edwards. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round Ooh. and picking up exactly where he left off. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a Body. legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now. This dude's offense worse. is like... Look at him working. At time it's very, out. like... It's low output. Oh, nice job by Robbie Lawler. Training but it's now very, now. like, sporadic in a way. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the middle. The one that you don't the feel. Kick. Ooh, the no. punch that really? lands perfect. Nice that one landed perfect. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Trying to let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas mm. to try to find that fence. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. He tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by him. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, and body kick. with authority, the body. Blocks the shot. He's eating a lot of body kicks. Oh, that one landed, yep. So body points. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, mm. J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast. So this guy looks like he's just... I don't know what... I don't really know what's going on with him. But he's getting pieced up from the from the outside. Ready to fight? Ready. It's not a. Uh, it's not looking good. I'll tell you that. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets under. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection okay, here body. in the latter stages of this fight. Okay, the body again. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is going. Body punch. Strike to the body. This could be the end. I mean, this fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Back to his feet. He's going to get back up to the feet. Well, you know this is the Ooh. Nice. Both tough. Both doable. Both unwilling to take a step backwards. 
what a phenomenal fight. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Fighter blocks the punch. Pretty good straight punch there. Up a little bit. Back and forth we go. He's got to eat. Oh, he's got him real good too. He's hurt bad. So the unofficial numbers strong to quite strong. One yeah, what's good, Toby? 14. Total strikes have now landed for Robbie Lawler. And connecting with about a 41% accuracy rate here against Leon Edwards. Edwards' his uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Got him up out of there, coach. That one was a little bit of a what I like to call a slow roller. The pace wasn't very high. The output wasn't very high. We we're able to get it done, but it's not the funnest. I watched the playthrough of it and enjoyed it. Of Resident Evil 8. I haven't even watched that. Yo, what's good, Jawbreaker? Hill versus Pahara? I'm going for Hill. That's really a fight for me that doesn't have any losers in it, to be honest. Let's go, Gilbert. In the red chunks, though. Uh. Yeah, me too. I don't think Pereira is going to eat his power. I mean, he could if he chopped at that leg. That's going to be real interesting to see how Jamal Hill deals with the leg kicks. If he's able to deal with the calf kicks. You ready to fight? Oh, this is ready? dope. Good. All right, so here's the oncoming welterweight contender, Bilal. Remember the name Muhammad. And when he is not hosting a podcast with my twin brother, Jason, he is disposing of UFC welterweights left and right. It has been what incredible. What happened? To prominence for Bilal that lead hook and never came out. has been rooted in his wrestling, in his Ugh. grappling, in his ability to get these fights where he wants it, ideally on the canvas. And more often than not, when he gets you there, you can't get up. Couple of chins here being tested early. Seven. Oh my goodness. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, nice open. The inside he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut and it landed exactly as he was. Oh, okay. Sir. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not going overhand like that, just chucking them things. Well, no, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kane Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt you bad. And this guy has the corner hurt very badly again. Look underneath that one. Looking for that slip. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. 
Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal. Well, that overhand big weapon for him throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. That was a nice strike. Burns bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Oh, it's good combo. It's tough. Good job, good job, good job. Yo, what's good, host? What's good, Crunch? That's what happens when you take breaks. That's what happens when you take breaks. That's why I told y'all. I got to get back into it. Yeah, Dana. Yeah, coming off, coming off, um, coming off not playing, and he's been playing and been grinding a lot. That's that's to be expected. But we're gonna get into it. He's also streaming the fight. Yeah, no. Bro, burn sucks up. That's no excuse. I picked him, so I'm not going to sit here and, and complain about it. It wasn't about me being at a disadvantage, host. It's just me not playing and him playing. This is what it is. But we'll get GOAT back. Trust me. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Akashev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man has proven elite as well. A true five-tool player who many believe by year's end could just be the king of the lightweight division. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Block that one. So more output, at least in the early going. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him start to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he's taking. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Ooh. Slips. He loaded up there on that high kick. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating, attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, we have seen that time and time again. Start a mixed martial arts, people throw leg kicks. Right now, you can see him digging his shin into this guy's thigh. Ooh, at least I'm not. I'm surprised you're not going for grappling. Great punch landed really with so much power. Be Just out of the range with that right hand. There you go. What he should be looking for. All right, side hmm. control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to take the body damage a little bit. Push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous. Yep. Block that. With that full guard. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Well, the ground and pound is on point tonight. Good work here by Islam Akasha. Nice. Final seconds here of round one. Oh, Almost had him down last night. Yeah, let's go out there. Let's 
I like how I get blamed for stuff. I didn't do it. You make a lot of excuses. 4K, how did I make a lot of excuses? Are you talking about the GOAT fight? I told you. It would have been a competitive fight. And he might have beat me even, even if I had been playing the game. But it would have been a lot closer of a fight had I been playing. Right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. So good, good first five minutes. It is what it is. Really pick it up. Let's go. He's hurt now. Oh, nice combination. He's hurt the bad guy. That right hook is nasty. That was really clean. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how well he is. That, that left hook would have put him to sleep. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler. But as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, <laughs> you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking. But he is Jab straight. Landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Whoa. Mm. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Mm. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Right, well, he told us in the fighter meeting he didn't want to be known for his toughness. And yet again, here we are talking about him absorbing a bunch of damage to that thought. Well, he's having to rely on it. Once again, it's become his calling card. And when you are known to be hmm. tough, that's the problem. you got to be more technical. Right now, he needs to find a way to change this fight. Because if it continues to play out the way it has at this point, he's going to get finished. Good, hey, I appreciate it. Take that one. Take that. Makashev's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Lands with the lead right. Oh, big elbow. And able to land that kick to the chin. Is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, right, round three coming nice. up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut Gotta take it easy. Gotta take it easy. Gotta take it easy. So it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man put on some right to work. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockout Ray Charles there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout. Ray Charles will do it. You can't take those shots. You ready to fight? You ready? I got the best market to win for all. Talking those. That strike blocked by Dustin Poirier. Just out of range with that right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Straight right hand, no good. Hmm. So the blood really starting to flow every time that area gets tired. Uh oh, I'm feeling it. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect he's starting to take on it. Whether or not he's reaching for it. Whether or not he's confused by where it's at. Nope. You gotta start to watch his reactions on his Perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. All right, 
Well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that, you know, that crimson ring is nothing more than something that inspires nice him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh, I got hit with that. No. I got hit with a little uh, step in head kick. <laughs> Down oh, the I missed you. Oh, no. I'm beating the pocket right there. Nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. Watch right, so the former interim lightweight champ Dustin Poirier in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent out. Nearly put him off. Can't take video. Mm -hmm. Dustin so Oh, nice ankle pick. Great timing, better execution. Poirier gets yeah, up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state That's on the ground, right there, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. Whoa. They have been at every single Come on step. Now. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. Well, the cut men have done everything that they can tonight, but these guys are... Got him. Might get the TKO here. The one second knockout, though. Hey, I told y'all, halfway through, I was feeling it. Holy. We was feeling it. We was feeling it. Mm. He's feeling it. Oh. It's a uh, Pantosia. That's why they call you the best boxer in the game. Hey, I appreciate it, Archie. What's good, though? Anaheim, California, USA. Good to have you with us inside Honda Center tonight. This has become an annual stop for the MMA leader, and there have been any number of signature performances that have gone down inside this I'm not sure any place has had more title changes than the Honda Center, especially in the heavyweight division. A great place for heavyweight fights, but if you go in as the champion, just know most nights that belt hmm. going in the opposite direction. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Nice jab there to the body by Pantosia. Oh, nice jab. Oh, this place is going nuts. We got a brawl on our hands, folks. The fans are out of their seat. These guys are getting after it. Oh, That's right there. Huge left hand. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice slip to a boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, nice jab. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. They're so evenly matched. They're going to attack. Gotcha. Gets back to his feet. I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picket. Go and pick the truth. Hmm. All right, doing work with the jab. Hmm. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the assassin, baby, Brandon Moreno. 
Oh, nice inside kick. Oh, beautiful job to get the kick home to the body. Nice right punch followed by a left. Under a minute now to go. He did a great job of blocking that punch. Pantosha's <laughs> cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Did you see some premium crossing in <laughs> you, Pantosha? Caught that. <clears throat> no, there's danger in no, that we too. good. <clears throat> Pantosha's got good strikes too, though. Then you're in a lot of trouble. Man, these guys have some shoes on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. At least on that. Final seconds here. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Uh, we got the knockdown, so right, so we're good. Over, but not before damage that should have been our. That should have been our round. Sustained in that round, cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Got to slow it down a little bit. He's throwing a lot of fakes, so whenever we see him throwing a fake, got a calf kick it. Got a calf kick it. Got a calf kick it. You ready to fight? Ready. Hey Rippers, right, thanks for the uh, thanks for the two dollars. Two dollars super chat, my guy. Now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. All right, so we didn't see any takedown attempts from the BJJ player in round one, and as yet, he still hasn't attempted to take this fight to the ground. Very surprising approach by this guy. He's so good on the ground. I would have expected him to try to get it to the ground earlier in the fight. But as we go on, it's starting to become very clear that yeah. that is not the game plan tonight. Nice kick to the body. Pantoja's body getting bruised up on that right side now. Don't want to take too many more shots to that. How did that section. work? Oh, and he caught the kick. Mm -hmm. Always busy here with the clinch. Lands a nice punch there. Oh, roundhouse kick. He's going to get himself knocked out. You got to take a moment. He's going to get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Pantoja's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but yeah, maybe. nothing ideal about it here. Yo, UFC Ireland, fight. welcome to the stream. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Got that leg. So we have passed oh, the midway point in the fight. Oh. Calf kick lands and it is starting to bruise now. Dude better check these kicks. He's not gonna be able to fight too long if he doesn't. Nice. Well no, done. Not that time. The kick. We'll see what he can do. Well, DC headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dog. He's doing oh, a great job block break. his head. A lot of times those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively. Here, he got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's oh, yeah, he hurt really bad. Oh, good work with the jab there. We approach the one minute mark here in the second round. Moreno's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings. Mm -hmm. Left hook from Brandon Moreno. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Mm. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Pantoja's eye now closing up. Yeah. Around, you heard the horn, and it came just as he was stunned by a uh, huge shot right before the end of the round. This is a good so, fight. Saved mm. by the bell. Back to the right, let's a couple of things I could have done better in this fight round. to set myself up for a victory hunting, a little better. Landed. You ready? You ready? But we're going to try to get it. All right, here we go. Third and final round. Try to establish that jab. Right 
right hook to the head. But, oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, his leg is clearly compromised here early, starting to limp a little bit, and perhaps this affects his strategy as the fight continues. Yeah, you know, these guys Time to are so tough huh? That's what we're doing. that when you are able mm. to visually see something, <laughs> massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Well, we Still fishing. Oh, he's stuck bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Wow. Right Strong roundhouse kick there. The Pantosia strike at that there. Oh. He's got to start throwing down. I don't know what's going on with these fire alarms. Just over house, three bro. minutes to go in round three. Got him. Should be it. Or something close to it. No? Oh, nasty elbow there. Take that. Nicely done. Back mount. And now he's got the back. Oh, we got arm bars from back here too, I forgot. Just over two minutes to go in our third and we'll final take round. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working towards the finish. Got that. That is a fantastic arm bar. Belly down the tip. Oh, he got out. He actually defended. Oh, back down the side control. Not in a great position now, but he's better off than he was before. You need to fight back. <laughs> Try to Ooh, pass nice. here. Good block. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full. Take that. Oh, he's got his back. See if he gives it up. Nope. Good job. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling mm. exchange. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went. What a fight as we go the full it's crazy. minutes, and that is how you close the show. It's a good fight, though. Got it done. That's that knockdown in the second round is what got it for us. Oh no! It gave us the first. Gave him the second. Oh, we both got stuns. We got the rock. We got the drop in the first round. Sorry. Yeah, we got the first round in the third round. Got it done. I just said, why not? Hey, I appreciate it, Ireland. Yo, shout out to the 22 people that are in here too. Appreciate you guys. Make sure if you guys are new and if you guys are enjoying the stream to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. Be much appreciated. Hmm. Let's use the Lexic also. All right, we're getting back to. I feel like I'm getting back to where where I was not that long ago. Still got some work, though. Still got some work. Trevor Whitman firmly in her corner and. Might be a little bit of a feeling out process here tonight. She's not afraid to see what's coming back before registering her attack. Okay. Rose Namajunas in another big one tonight. Big shots being landed on both sides here. 
Nice counter strike by her there, and that's really her bread and butter. That is what she'll be looking to do in this matchup here tonight. When her opponent gets over-aggressive, use that against her. So far, so good. And presumably, many more counters to come here in this one. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a forearm. Well, it's, it's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. They're certainly getting after it early. Well, eventually she will turn this defense into offense, but she seems to see these strikes coming from a mile away. She sees them a mile away, and the hands are exactly where they're supposed to be, right on the chin. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Mm. Well, she continues to land to the body, attacking those organs, right? Not a lot of protection there, and you're seeing some visible damage now on the other side. Visible damage. She's done a tremendous job understanding and recognizing where the weakness was, and she has exploited that, and she's going to continue as she tries to get her hand raised. Nama Yunus is circling towards the left side now. Great vision, great defense and instincts by her there as she continues to block the majority of these shots coming her way. Her hands are always where they're supposed to be. Oh, well, she has come out guns blazing tonight. You know she's got an aggressive style. That's exactly what we've seen thus far. She's a sharpshooter. Yeah. She is a sharpshooter in the highest order. And every time she steps in the octagon, she's looking to finish the fight as fast as she can. Both fighters throwing heat now. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, how about the boxing skills of Rose Namajunas tonight? You know, when she came into the UFC, she did not have this developed and as polished a striking game as we're seeing here. I mean, you watched her stand with Joanna and JJ. For as Get good as Joanna is a striker, you saw Rose stand Again. for 25 minutes and beat her on the judges' scorecard. You saw her knock her We're working these kicks with these punches to the body. To we were up close. And how well we're going to be good. developed in the striking room. Well, now she's the body job. to time her opponent. Beautiful punch nope. lands there shortly after she caught the leg. Well, the visible damage on her body really starting to develop now. She's got to answer some of these body strikes, so this fight's going to end. Well, she's got to block something in return. You can't wait mm, until the attack is finished to try right, to do something. You can't we're, wait to try to defend. We're going down to his body. First. He's going down to our body. If you want to deter your we're throwing a lot, but we're landing a lot more than he is. But we just got to be careful on how much stamina right, so we're consuming. What a round it was, DC. Take us through some of the highlights. Got to think her kicking game is going to... So just a little a little tip for you guys. When you're going body for body with somebody, you want to try to catch them when their stamina is low. So like after they've whisked, whisked a strike or a combination or something, that's when you want to go for it. This is a big moment for both of these fighters. Somebody is going to strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still standing. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike now. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent for finish room. Now we're going. Able to land with the left hand. Nama Yunus is so cut, folks. Advantage. Nasty cut on her lip just opened up. Hmm. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Defense held up there as she blocks that shot. Nice body shot there. And now a left. There's still plenty of time to go here, round two. Well, I'm a play-by-play -play guy. I'm not an analyst, but I have to admit to being surprised that she hasn't even attempted a takedown at this point in the fight. It's crazy to think that someone has such a dominant skill right. and is not trying to take advantage of it. Someone needs to get in her ear and say, start wrestling. And right now, you are falling behind. Hey. 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 Hey.
strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't want right to power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. All right, so not Everybody exactly kick. the kind of fight or approach we expected to see out of this decorated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. Perhaps this will be the round in which she attempts to take it. Well, you hope to see it, right? Because everything else... Nice, good read. He doesn't have a lot of stamina to get him for a finish, though. Grosso's cut, folks. Nasty cut on her lip just opened up. How good a job does she do defensively? Protect that head, raise the guard. A lot of good things in there. Yep, hands up, chin down. She's got a perfect position for defensive boxing. Ooh, what a punch. We're going to books. war. That's for sure. A uh, lot of body punches that have been landed. A bit concerned, perhaps because yeah, of that this is crazy. Lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cut man's got his work to do now. Always. I don't think I know them. Ready. Ready. Third round underway. All right. Here we go. Beautiful body kick lands. Let's go back. Right there. So here we are at this stage of the fight, and she hasn't even attempted a takedown. Nice. Given her grappling acumen, you've got to be surprised at the fight approach thus far. I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised. I don't understand why she is fighting this type of fight. But I'm not the only one. Look at her corner. They're losing their minds. Like, shoot, please, get back where we all feel safe. That's another body kick. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Great shot landing. Okay. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to mm. finish the fight. Well, I hope the judges recognize that she's blocking the majority of these shots. She's doing a beautiful job, I think. Oh! Ooh. She's hurt. That was lightning fast, that right in. Nope. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, it's been a pretty putrid effort out of her tonight, and I should probably put it a little bit softer, but <laughs> she needs a finish, man. She has not fought well, but with her ability to end fights so quickly with submission, she's still in the fight. This finish Even is going to be hard to get. Bit. Well, she's leaking a lot. Of My uppercut went on the side of her body. Crazy. Two minutes to go in our third and final round. There it is. There it is. She into that She is seeing the rewards of her hard work. It should be it. There you go. Got her up out of there. That's that's a crazy fire right there. Next time I got a counter, I got a counter uppercut. I wasn't counter uppercutting at all. All right, Mello, I'm gonna accept your invite right now. Hmm. All right, let's get it. Oh, he's gonna use Izzy? Whatever. We'll do it. Woo! You ready to fight? Ready. Watch 
So here we go with round one between Robert Whitaker and the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Australia and New Zealand at times are aligned. Certainly not in this matchup tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight because both of these guys both want to win this fight. Two of the most talented martial artists in the world. And both feel as though they have the perfect style to beat the other. Man, how about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all when it comes to the stand-up and the boxing. And that is on full display right now. Oh, nice jab by Robert Whitaker. There's that body shot. Beautiful straight punch there by Whitaker. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Just misses there with the left. <laughs> oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Adesanya. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block Ooh. the shots coming his way. You think he's trying he to a little bit out of his range. opponent here a little bit? He's okay. kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. Oh! Cannot take too many of those. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Hmm. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, big left Ooh, hand. Oh, I should have got that counter off. Nice. Well, we told you off the top that he had a reach advantage and he really is using it. Nice punch there. Attacking the body now. That shot blocked. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful mm, nice shot kick. to the body. Forward, forward. Hit that 30 there. seconds now to go in round one. He lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter. He's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Whitaker's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Make your first round. Round two straight ahead. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential Make some adversity adjustments. here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds. All right, back to the stools we go off. Gotta make sense. a little bit of a just. But on defense, he hasn't been able to stop any. Mm -hmm. All right, with that, we now present round right. two. Oh, in. Israel right. Adesanya good. and Robert Whitaker. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. Oh, good mm. shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. And now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Well, he was able to block that one. Oh, beautiful job with the hands there by Israel Adesanya. When you focus too much on the kicks, that's what happens. You get cracked with that Adesanya right mm -hmm. hand. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, beautiful jab there by Robert Whitaker. Well, a lot of these shots with power behind them. 66 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And landing with 50% accuracy tonight against Oh, come on now. Got to slip that. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything Ooh. went right, and that doesn't happen. Right? He's in trouble. 
he's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. There it is. Oh, big left. Oh, that's big. Big left hand. Oh. Oh, come on, bruh. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Oh, big kicks. Big ducks underneath it. Everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Hands high, hands high. Adesanya's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. I can't reactively stick. Perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this day. Yo, what's good, Dana? All right, that's the end of round number two. It's a good right, one. So there's the end of the round. Big story. I was landing a lot. Cut on the bridge of that nose from that it's a good strike. percentage. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. Yep. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both in the shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up. Very nice, very nice. shot like that. He rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, blood in the water, you gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Oh, yeah. oh Adesanya's getting going now. Oh, big Nice, good combo. I forgot how tough that fight is with Robert Whitaker. He does not have the footwork speed to keep up with Izzy. It's tough. I have to like literally wade in with with strikes when I don't really want to. That was good though. What the hell is going on with this, bruh? He was the grind. Good content. Hey, I appreciate it, Lucas. Mello, I need you to send me another invite because I got to back out of here. We should froze. All right, Mello, we're going to rerun it. I want that easy again, but I'm not using Robert Whitaker this time. EA Sports. It's in the game. Because, yeah, Robert Whitaker, the footwork speed and the reach is ridiculous. Yeah, glitch been going on for me for weeks. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he's doing that. That's weird. Mm 
Alright. How long have we been going for? An hour and 15 minutes? Okay. Let's get it. Ready. Watch it there, the two consensus greatest UFC middleweight champions of all time, Anderson Silva and Israel Adesanya. And they run it back here tonight in front of a capacity crowd. It's a dream matchup. When you say we have Anderson Silva versus Israel Adesanya, you get people to really perk up and pay attention. Anderson Silva is one of the greatest champions the UFC has ever seen. His win streak to start a career will go unmatched for a really long time. But in Israel Adesanya, you see the evolution of fighting in the middleweight division. A guy so skilled on the feet. A guy that carries a confidence that I have not seen anyone else carry. This fight is yesterday versus today, and I'm so excited for it. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, this place is going nuts. We got a brawl on our hands, folks. The fans are out of their seat. These guys are getting after it. Landed that one. Nice combination by Silva. Just over three minutes to go now. on that one. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. He's got to start moving his head. He mm. cannot take this many shots to the head. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Adesanya. Now mixing one into the body. Well, he's not a one-legged fighter yet, but that calf started to show some signs of bruising. If he takes many more, he's not going to be able to move. Nice jab by Izzy. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. He tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Slips that left hand. Man, look at Adesanya putting his words into action. I don't throw and hope, I aim and fire. The accuracy is just on a completely different level, and not surprising that he has drawn comparisons to the consensus greatest middleweight champion in UFC history, the great Anderson the Spider Silver. And there it is again, right on cue. Another strike targeting that compromised area on the cap. It may be a little time for him to switch stance. He's got to do something different to deter him from this approach. All right, so late in the round now, and the narrative, of course, has been Israel Adesanya striking. He is at his sniping best tonight. Yeah, Izzy looks good. You know, he's one of the best kickboxers we have ever seen coming to the UFC. And when his striking is on point, not many can compete with the last style bender. That is being shown tonight. Now. Ooh. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take ah. another shot like that. Good round. Put an end to round one. All right, we're throwing the same amount of strikes, but we're landing more. But his significant strikes are higher. So I know you don't have the telestrator, but take he's going to be doing a little bit more damage. I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was round two now. Israel Adesanya and that man, the ubiquitous Anderson. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, beautiful connection on the feet. He's got it all working tonight. He's in his he's own. Right, he's in a zone, and it's going to be very difficult for his opponent to keep up with him. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four or five singular strikes. Nice, nice. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. 
Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that hook. Power shots landing on both sides, and the chins continue to hold up. under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Adesanya's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Now he made a solid punch. Well, he has clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man, Daniel oh. Cormier. He, oh, he's hooked now. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. He's given him so many different things right hmm. now. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in D.C. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Israel Adesanya is blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah. Oh, strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Oh, big left hand there. Ten minutes in the camp. Good round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and feel like I'm fighting uh, uh, too, uh, being a factor too obvious of a pace. I'm going to switch it All up right, a so there's bit. the horn signifying the end of the round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. He's got to start to protect him. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know... When you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop him. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. So we've hit the century mark. 100 total strikes have landed for Anderson Silva. Well, still connecting on about four of every ten. Oh, this is Opening up on him now. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that. Yeah, he hurt him real bad. He's still hurt. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Big shot. Oh, maybe the best strike he's thrown tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Back to his feet. Oh, landed some big shot, too. Shot blocked there by Silva. 
Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to... Nice, nice. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what Bro. it is, but these last couple of it rounds... It takes so much to get people out in the game, I forgot. A lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Adesanya's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now... Got him. Good bye, Melo. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous... Yeah, it was a good fight, Mello. All right. Hey, I got to hop off, though. I got to go get my kids in the bath and get them all ready to go. But, hey, shout out to everybody that came through. I appreciate you guys. Make sure if you guys are new and if you guys enjoyed the stream, to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. Um, I probably won't be streaming tomorrow, but I'll be streaming again on Friday. But shout out to everybody that came through. Like I said, again, make sure if you guys are new and if you guys enjoyed the stream, to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. And I'll see you.